Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jesper Alfersen and on this channel here we are talking about skincare, anti-age and all those sort of things that uh, makes you look younger for longer. And uh, the thing is that uh, a lot of people they are talking about uh, collagen and supplements and all that sort of things and uh, we have spoken uh, about that before on this channel here but today we are going to talk a little bit more in depth about what is actually really necessary in order to uh, make a good collagen and uh, just to say it that uh, I don't use a filter on this channel so uh, this is actually how I look if you saw me on the high street and no I don't color my hair and uh, I don't have any makeup on or anything uh, like that so this is actually how I look and I am 47 I've just turned uh, 47 so today we are going to talk uh, a little bit about a uh, collagen a lot of people they are buying a uh, collagen and it costs uh, a lot of money and uh, I would say that in order to uh, have it really work well for you you need to eat rather a lot of it and I think that a lot of people they are not eating enough and uh, when they find out how much they are actually going to eat then I don't think they will do it or they might do it for a couple of weeks and then they will be really they will tie off it I'm pretty sure so the thing is that um Collagen, of course, yes, it is uh, very uh, important for us and it is something that you get uh, in your diet if you're eating uh, like uh, cracklings and stuff like that. I like that. Some people, they don't do that for other reasons. But uh, anyway, if you're eating uh, a lot of collagen uh, in your diet, then uh, it is uh, really good for you. But uh, there is a, a limit to how much uh, collagen you can actually uh, eat unless you are really, really like fixed on it or something like that. But uh, the thing is that uh, collagen, it obviously, it contains uh, amino acids and uh, we have spoken about that before. And uh, I I made a video uh, some years ago and uh, therein I basically told you that the uh, the essence of how to build a collagen is uh, to have uh, vitamin C in your diet and to have um, lysine and uh, those things you can take uh, as a supplement so that is uh, the basics and uh, the reason is that uh, lysine and uh, vitamin C is something that you cannot produce yourself in your body but uh, the other very important components of uh, collagen you can actually uh, produce yourself and the thing is that uh, those things are the amino acid uh, proline and it is uh, the other amino acid called uh, glycine. So uh, there is just a, a little bit uh, of an issue and that is that uh, as we get older then uh, the body is not so good at uh, making uh, these things in our body. So glycine for example that uh, you get from uh, the amino acid serine which uh, you also get from uh, food but uh, as we get older then uh, glycine is not produced that well from uh, serine in your body and that is obviously a little bit of a, a problem so uh, proline can also be uh, produced uh, in the body and um, I'm not quite sure if that is also uh, getting worse as we get older but uh, I kind of like it I, I think it is getting not as good uh, to be produced in the body as when we are younger but uh, at least for something like a uh, glycine I just recently uh, stumbled upon a study where they were looking into a uh, cartilage and that sort of thing so if you have uh, arthritis then um, or osteoporosis then is maybe the, uh, if you are in your bone so the stuff that is uh, between your your bones that will sort of like a cushion uh, the impact when the bones are going up against each other so uh, as you get older a lot of people they will uh, have uh, issues with that and that is basically because uh, they are producing less and less uh, collagen in the body so usually when we are talking about collagen then it is uh, about a uh, sagging skin and that sort of thing but uh, that is I would say something that is a, a cosmetic sort of thing but uh, the more severe thing is that uh, if your bones are going up against each other and this basically are wearing each other down then uh, you will get some uh, mobility issues and that is really not great so the thing is how can you actually uh, boost uh, the collagen production well you can obviously you can take a, a collagen a powder but uh, the thing is that uh, in collagen powder then uh, a third of that is uh, glycine and what that basically means is that uh, if you're taking a scoop of uh, glycine and I have glycine here it comes uh, in this sort of bag and it looks like a sugar and it is actually a uh, sweet and uh, I have nothing to do with a bulk it's they are called bulk and there is another company called bulk supplement if you are in America and uh, they uh, that's why I usually buy these things because I find it to be the cheapest but I have nothing to do with them so if you're taking um, a spoon like this so there is a five milliliter in this one here so that would be about a uh, four and a half grams of uh, glycine the thing is if you're taking one of these spoons here in order to get the same amount uh, from uh, collagen then you need to take uh, three of these spoons here so a lot 
more and the reason is that uh, a third of collagen that is uh, basically a uh, glycin that uh, that tells you basically how important glycin is uh, for um, the collagen in your body so that would be for all sort of things um, in your body like uh, ligaments and uh, your skin tendons and, and all that sort of things that are basically are keeping your body together so the thing is that uh, if you would like to do something for your collagen i would really say that something like a glycine that is a, a must and uh, the article that i stumbled upon uh, the other day basically uh, they were looking at uh, cartilage so uh, they looked at something like a proline as i spoke about before and lysine and then uh, glycine and uh, what they found out was that uh, basically usually then uh, glycine is something that is um, not an uh, essential uh, amino acid because it is normally called non-essential and that is because it can be produced in your body but uh, they actually found out that uh, as you get older then um, glycine becomes more and more uh, essential and that is basically because you don't produce uh, that much of it uh, in your body and that obviously means that uh, you're not producing that much uh, collagen and uh, therefore you are getting all these sort of uh, ailments uh, as you get uh, older so one thing uh, to do is uh, obviously to take a uh, glycine so what they realized was actually that if you're taking a proline and lysine it did not have it had did have an effect so it's it's, it's a good thing to take but uh, what they found out was that uh, the most um, severe thing that happens is that uh, you're not having enough uh, glycine in your body and therefore you need to uh, supplement with that so they had um, a little bit of some looking into how much should you actually take and they say that normally from your diet and from uh, what's going on in your body you would get about uh, three grams a day but uh, they actually reckon that uh, you need about uh, 10 grams more a day in order to get uh, enough of uh, this uh, glycine into your diet so that you can produce uh, collagen so the thing is, when I have tried uh, glycine before, I have made other videos about uh, why uh, glycine is uh, important for our body and our health as such. And uh, there is something along uh, the lines about uh, longevity and that sort of things. And you can see some other videos I have made uh, about that. But here the thing is that uh, if your collagen is breaking down over the years, then um, obviously you need simply to do something about it. And uh, that is not just about uh, the way you look, but it's the way that uh, your body feels and that sort of thing. But in order to come back to uh, some of these uh, collagen powders, then uh, there is uh, another little thing to say about those powders, and uh, that is that uh, usually they will say that they contain hydroxyproline, and uh, yes, uh, that is great because the proline is uh, a part of uh, collagen, but uh, there is just that little thing about it, and that is that uh, when collagen is being produced, then it is so that uh, it contains of uh, three um, amino acid strings or proteins, and they are then twisted around each other as into a helix but uh, the thing is that uh, these um, proteins they uh, consist of amino acids but uh, those amino acids they will be uh, hydroxylated after they have been uh, incorporated into the uh, protein string so it is not so that uh, the body go in and look like oh i can just have this hydroxyproline and then just bang it into the uh, to the string of uh, amino acid because that'll be a whole lot easier it, it just doesn't work like that in the body so it is so that uh, when you have about 20% uh, of the uh, amino acids in, in collagen that is a uh, proline and uh, a lot of that is the hydroxyproline that means that uh, the part that is hydroxyproline the body cannot really use that and uh, yeah it's a shame but uh, that is just how it is but usually uh, these uh, producers they will uh, claim as it is something that is, is really really good it's just something that is uh, worth uh, to know that uh, basically if you like to have a uh, proline I would say that uh, you should take it from uh, a supplement instead because then you know that you're actually getting a pure uh, proline and that is something the body will uh, use in order to uh, produce uh, collagen and then uh, when it is being incorporated into these uh, amino acid strings then after that it will be uh, hydroxylated so that was just a, a little uh, other thing but I would say looking at this uh, article uh, then what they basically said that the most important thing would be uh, the the glycine and uh, that is simply because uh, when they added more of that than you would normally get and they are, are talking about that you should add about uh, 10 grams if you have they talk about a, a body type of uh, or a weight of about uh, 70 uh, kilograms and uh, that is that would be kind of like as i am for example and uh, there they say that you should take uh, about uh, 10 grams of uh, glycine above what you are getting from uh, your food and they speculate that it is uh, about uh, up to three grams 
so actually what they found out uh, they are referring to another article in the article and uh, that they said that actually uh, there was made some studies and they said that um, if uh, you were using about uh, 10 grams a day then uh, your collagen production would actually be up with about uh, 200 percent so that is actually rather a lot but uh, in reality if it is uh, like that for everybody obviously they cannot say that but uh, they can just say that uh, if you are taking a lot more glycine that uh, what is normally recommended then uh, there will be uh, more collagen being uh, produced in your body so that is obviously really really great so uh, there is just that little thing and that is uh, a little bit uh, what I'm very much uh, on about and that is uh, buying uh, supplements that are maybe not exactly doing uh, what they say on the tin and it is not so that collagen it doesn't work it's just like as I explained earlier that uh, if you're taking a scoop of uh, glycine like this then it also get uh, the same amount of uh, glycine from a, a collagen uh, supplement then you need to take uh, three times uh, as much uh, than this one here and that means that uh, if you are taking like 10 grams of uh, glycine then yes you need to take uh, 30 grams of uh, collagen powders and uh, I would say that is uh, something you might be getting tired of in the end and it will be very expensive so uh, this article here it clearly demonstrates that uh, what is uh, the most important part is to take a glycine in order to make a lot more uh, collagen in your body than you would otherwise uh, be making particularly as you get older I mean, th this is not something we are talking about if you are in your 20s I mean uh, uh, obviously there is, it would not be uh, an issue that you are lacking a uh, collagen unless there is some sort of issue with your body or something you are have a sickness or whatever something like that but for the normal person that is uh, in his uh, or her uh, days 20s then uh, it should not be necessary to take a uh, glycine but uh, as you get uh, older uh, than uh, 30 where uh, it's all sort of kind of like starts to go downhill and uh, it seems to be going faster and faster uh, then uh, something like a uh, glycine is uh, something that is really good uh, to take and it doesn't cost uh, a lot and it actually tastes nice it tastes a little bit like a, a cantaloupe uh, melon so uh, that is uh, basically really nice you can just i usually take uh, a scoop in the morning and then I take a scoop uh, sort of like a uh, midday and then I take uh, one before six o'clock and I kind of like it's a little bit like um maybe it can keep you a little bit up at night if you're taking it too late that maybe it will stimulate that uh, you're having too much energy going on in your body i'm not quite sure about that it's just something that i have noticed that maybe if i take it too late in the evening i might have a little bit of some uh, issues uh, falling asleep but um, it might just be me so uh, i would say that uh, something like this is a uh, really really uh, easy uh, to take and it doesn't uh, cost uh, a lot so uh, in other words what i'm taking is actually uh, a little bit more than what they are talking about in this article here because obviously I do get uh, glycine and serine for that matter as well from my diet and uh, here they are saying that uh, I should take about uh, 10 grams more than what I would get from my diet but actually I'm taking about 15 grams uh, a day and uh, I feel that that is working uh, rather well um, but the thing is that uh, you need to space it uh, over the day because uh, if you're taking too much in one go then maybe uh, it's not that good and in general I would say don't take a huge amount of uh, one single uh, amino acid uh, in one go rather it's kind of like uh, if see if you can uh, split it uh, over the day so here I'm taking uh, about uh, 15 uh, grams uh, a day and what I would say is that uh, yes I know that uh, my skin was not bad before I started doing that but uh, on the other hand I've actually been taking uh, glycine for rather uh, some years now but uh, lately if I would say for the last couple of months or something like that I have taken uh, these uh, 15 uh, grams uh, a day and I would say that I feel that it has definitely um, helped uh, on my skin in the sense that uh, it feels uh, a lot more plump but uh, obviously I'm always uh, doing a lot of new things uh, with uh, amino acid and you might have seen that that I'm taking a um, methionine uh, as well and I've spoken about that uh, in relation to, to hair and that sort of thing but uh, definitely I would say that uh, something like a uh, glycine I feel that that has made a uh, rather uh, a difference uh, on my skin and basically also um, for my uh, husband's uh, skin because uh, he has a, a condition that is called a uh, myotonic dystrophy and that basically is something that uh, as you get older it um, your body is not that good at uh, keeping itself uh, up to date with the uh, collagen and uh, muscle mass and, and all that sort of thing and definitely I would say that um 
I have seen on him that his uh, skin is uh, becoming a, a little bit more uh, plump and more like a uh, youthful basically and it's not just because of the stuff that uh, using like his uh, serums and creams on the face because I've noticed that it actually also on uh, his hands so they, they are starting to look uh, a bit more like um, elastic if you like compared to a bit more like uh, not that much elastic. I mean, if you are kind of like a 54 or 53, something like that, then uh, your skin obviously look uh, in a certain way. And definitely I have seen that uh, there is a, a change in uh, his uh, skin there as well. So it's not just something that is working for me. So uh, I would say that uh, something like uh, taking uh, glycine, that is definitely something I would do, particularly if I had some issues with uh, arthritis. So uh, in that sense, I would say glycine, that is uh, really something that you need to look into. And uh, the whole point here is that, uh, yes, you can take a collagen supplement but it, it will be uh, very much a lot more expensive than just taking a glycine so uh, again uh, I would say that uh, some of these uh, supplements is more like uh, looking into what is actually the most important part of a, a supplement kind of like uh, as uh, collagen so uh, you don't waste uh, your your money and I think uh, taking a, a huge scoop of uh, collagen powder every day I don't think a lot of people are actually doing that and don't think that people realize how much uh, they actually need in order to make a, a difference uh, in their skin that is really something that you can um, really kind of like say yes definitely something uh, has happened so uh, yes that was uh, my little verdict uh, on these things here uh, with the uh, collagen powders I think you should go for something like a uh, glycine instead and it kind of like it looks like this and it kind of like it's just like a sort of like it looks like a sugar basically and I said it tastes really nice and what I do uh, midday I just put it um, on my uh, breakfast there will ever be some sort of like um, a four match fry in the morning and then I would just have it in a glass of water with my other amino acids uh, in the evening but uh, during the day I would take it uh, just uh, in a glass of water and then it actually tastes really nice and sweet just like a um, a cantaloupe melon basically so yes that was my little verdict if you'd like to do something about uh, osteoporosis and uh, for your collagen if it, skin and that sort of thing ligaments and all that sort of thing then definitely something like a glycine that is uh, something you should uh, check out and have a go at so yes if you'd like to see more of this sort of videos please subscribe to the bell and do all the things in order to be notified when i upload more of this sort of videos thank you for watching see you bye